जल साए सलाना के सामान के दिन है। I congratulate all of you on the 67th Jalsa Salana. The oldest and longest-running Muslim convention in America. The theme of this year's convention, religion, freedom, and peace, is one that resonates with me. We must promote your values. We must promote your theme. We must promote that which drives you every day. And also, the theme of love for all, hatred for none. I personally know that you are no stranger to religious persecution in your community. Here in this country, we celebrate our freedoms, the freedom of religion, the freedom of assembly, the freedom of speech, and much more. We cherish these words and work them to make them tangible for our community and for our children. They must not just be words we rattle off by rote. They must guide how we as a society treat one another and how we behave as a nation. I am honored to be here and accept this award in the true spirit of Islam, in the spirit of peace. As was mentioned, I met His Holiness, Mirza Masrur Ahmad, and he has said, to achieve peace, we must embrace the ideas of loyalty and love for one's nation. We must embrace just relations between nations, and he said that we must embrace global unity. When I first met him, I was in his presence at the mosque, the Masjid Rahman in Silver Springs, Maryland. It was a long drive for me, but the drive was so much worth it because being in his presence, then seeing the MKAs, the young people there, it lifted me, it lifted my spirit because it told me that there's hope, there's love, and there's aspiration for peace and love in this country. And then the second time I met him, on the hill in Congress, it was wonderful to see his presence, his holiness there, with the leadership of the Ahmadiyya in Congress, sharing their presence, sharing their understanding, with other members of Congress. And this, my friends, will be the way that we will teach this country that which you already know, that which you already practice, that which you are teaching your children to pass on to the next generation. You are a shining example of what a responsible and peaceful group of people should embody. And I applaud that fact that as Muslims for life, you acknowledge the tragedies of 9-11 and whole blood drives every year. And I understand I hear over and over again, but to, to this date you have collected enough blood to save 100,000 lives. And that is truly commendable. And I see folks giving their blood today. <laughs> Through your concept of Muslims of loyalty and exhibiting your loyalty to America, we will finally be able to combat extremist ideology of ISIS and Al-Qaeda. It is rare that groups come together so peacefully and cohesively and effectively. Your Stop the Crisis movement is a perfect example of what, of what the exemplary leadership is all about. And I met your leadership. I met your leadership among the MKAs, the young men between seven and 39, were in black and white, scars and I wore my black and white tie today in their respect because I I take my hat off to them because they are the future of this country they are the future of your message they are the future of the Ahmadiyya message and that is love for all and hate for none and I ran across the humanity first the project that's being um, moved by Ahmadiyya and the concern that shows through your projects of the, the need for water around the world, the need for food, the need for good health, and you take your tools and your own talents and your 
preparation and you share that with the rest of the world where those, those needs are, are being met through your love and through your commitment to fulfill the precepts and the concepts and the, and the teachings of Islam. Especially a congressman from California can appreciate the message here at a religious convention about tolerance and understanding among all people. Well, I'm a spiritual person and I still am able to be a politician because, you know, our basic concept is separation of church and state. And that's a continuous battle, I think. But it's one of the basic precepts of Ahmadiyya, is this separation of mosque and state. And I think that's not inconsistent. It's very consistent to our constitution. You will always have me as your partner. <laughs> and I'm very honored to accept the 2015 Ahmadiyya Muslim Humanitarian Award. Together, I know we can continue to promote peace and understanding in this world, in this country, among our own citizens. And we shall stand united with under the spirit of your slogan, again, love for all, hatred for none. Thank you, and peace be unto you. Jalsae Salana ke Saman ke Din hai Allah se Kuch vaadao Paiman ke Din hai Jalsae Salana ke Saman ke Din hai Jalsae Salana ke Saman ke Din hai